the pivot is the first defender on a futsal team, but also the team's attacking reference. Their actions determine if the team should defend on a higher or lower defensive line, and they're very important players, commonly responsible for the goals of a futsal team. Today, we'll talk about this important position in futsal, its main characteristics, functions, and the right positioning. And if you stick to the end of this video, I'll tell you two tips applied by the best players in the game to effectively improve as a pivot. How you doing guys? Coach Thiago here again. Welcome to FTA or the Futsal Training Academy. If you're new here, I hope our videos are valuable to you as it has been to all the thousands of coaches around the world and we hope it gives you some important information and insight about futsal. As it is really important to us and help us continue providing some valuable content to you, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to hit the notification bell to be notified when we upload new videos here. Now let's dive in on the topic. The name pivot is related to the tactical position of the player. As in the meaning of the word, the pivot is considered the central point of the team, both offensively and defensively. Their position will most of the times dictate where other players will move on the court. Thus, they give a name to the position being the pivot. With the advancing tactical systems and uh, the development of new strategies, this position is not as much static as it used to be years ago. Nowadays, we can see the pivot moving all around the offensive half when attacking, trying to create spaces to be in good shooting opportunities and also giving teammates more space to play when dragging defenders with them. It is also possible to see two pivots at the same time on the court. This is mostly common when teams are playing on a 2-2 formation. They are normally positioned with their back to the goal and they're responsible for most of the attacking situations of the team, usually being the top scorer. Let's now talk about the main characteristics of this type of player. A good pivot must be physically strong and or must know how to use their body to protect and shield the ball. Players who are tall and bigger have a slightly advantage in the position over smaller players as it is easier for them to hide the ball from defenders. But that does not mean a shorter player cannot be a pivot. If they know how to properly use the body to avoid interception, they will also excel in the position. As they are the outlet for other players on the team, they need to have a good ball control to keep it under possession, because the least thing we want is a player who cannot hold the ball up front. It is essential that pivots have good shooting skills with both legs, as they are constantly in scoring situations and have as the main objective to score goals. This player also needs to understand the game, reading well other players' positions to put himself or herself in good scoring opportunities or to create opportunities for teammates, assisting them in goals. Tactically, there are mainly two types of people. The first is the reference people, which is mostly playing with their back to the goal, being responsible to keep the ball on their offensive half. They are more ecstatic players mostly centralized on the court, but sometimes also moving to the sides of the court. The second type is the floating pivot or the movement pivot, which is responsible together with the alas for movements of the team and to create going scoring opportunities. This type of pivot constantly participate in the team's rotations and is changing positions with any other of his teammates. Thus, they give a name. It's also common to see these fluctuating players behind defenders trying to get in an open position to receive passes. So remember, there are two types of people. The reference people, which is the more centralized player who stays in the middle in front of the defenders most of the time. And the second type, the floating people or the movement people, which is the one that's moving more on the court, both offensively and defensively, usually trying to find spaces behind defenders. Now, remember those two tips I told you earlier that the best pivot is applied? Let's talk about those. The first tip is for people to use their arms. This may seem very basic and counterintuitive, but a lot of players, even though they know they should, still do not use their arms to protect and to shield the ball from defenders. But when I mean protect, I mean actually stretching their arms and trying to kind of hug the defenders behind. This one will increase the likelihood of keeping the ball, as it will be harder for a defender to go around, and two, can be used as a reference for the pivot to basically show them where the defender is and or what side the defender is trying to come around. So remember, arms stretch as much as possible. 
The second tip may not be as visible or counterintuitive as the first one, but I'm going to show you a video now. And after that, I will explain you what this player is doing that could be very important in certain situations. Okay, you think you know what I'm talking about? Hopefully you got to see it, but if not, the second tip is using both legs when protecting the ball. Normally, we see players only using one leg to shield, which one is on the ball and the other one on the ground. This can definitely be used and is effective. However, when using both legs on the ground, a player creates more stability, thus making it harder for defenders to go around or to tackle the ball. Of course, you not be really used all the time, as there might be defenders doubling up to steal the ball, but when no other defenders are closed or around, this tip can be very effective and will for sure help you as a pivot. So, I hope you have enjoyed this video and learned a bit more about the pivot and its main characteristics. If you think this video was valuable to you, or contain some important information about the pivot that can be important to other people, please give us a like below. And if you also have any specific question, you can comment below or directly message us and we'll be glad to help you. We'll catch you in the next video.